Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I have another very exciting video for you guys because today we are going to be unboxing my first collab with Your Nail Lab. If you did not see the first video, I will have it linked up in the cards. Make sure you go ahead and watch that video. I also unboxed unboxed a variation of this month's box but today I am going to be unboxing the acrylic box which this one will include acrylic. The last one I unboxed did include poly gel. I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has already supported me on this collaboration. I am trying my best to repost everybody who tags me so if you are using the products if you're doing an unboxing try your best to tag me because I do want to be able to watch everybody see everything that you guys create and I also do want to share it on my Instagram so make sure you go ahead and tag me but yes again a very big thank you to everyone who has supported me I think this is an amazing opportunity and again I do want to thank McCart your nail lab for collaborating with me for the January 2023 box so I do want to talk a little bit about your nail lab but I'll do that further into the video since we are jumping right into the unboxing here. So when you first do open up the box, you can see all of the nail goodies inside. The first item I am pulling out is the insert card. I think this turned out so cute. I'm so in love with the blue theme, the winter wonderland. And then you can also pause to read, but here is just the back of the insert card. I did leave a little message and then also my discount code and my little signature. Super cute. I just really love how these inserts cards turned out. I think it really pulls together the whole entire theme of the box which is blue and winter. The first item are some full cover XXL full cover square nail tips. These are really nice nail tips and I really like using full cover whether it being for gel X to do like gel extensions, the lazy girl method with poly gel, the lazy girl method with acrylic to make press-ons. I just feel like there are so many different uses that you can use full cover nail tips for. I also really like the length of these. Another good thing is if you do not like the super long nails, you can cut them down. But if you do like the long nails, you also have that length there. So you can kind of work with it and work with what you want to do with the nail tip. It's also nice that these are square so you can make them into coffin, stiletto, almond, anything that you want and you can just go ahead and customize these nail tips that best fits you. So that's another reason why I really wanted to include the longer full cover nail tips in my box. So the next item here is a raw glitter and this does not have any acrylic powder in it. It is just the regular glitter and this one is Triton and it is a very beautiful aqua green blue color. It does have a very pretty like holographic reflect to it. And this one does have like some hexagonal circle pieces in it with some finer and also the chunkier glitter. You can use this to make a custom glitter acrylic. You can use it, use it just as raw glitter. Again, so many different things that you can use this for. And it is also a very, very beautiful glitter. The next item are some snowflake glitter sequins. A bunch of different colors. There are also two shapes and sizes in this. The top row are the larger ones and then the bottom row are the smaller ones. I really like these. Again, so many different things that you can do with these. They are also so beautiful. Some having the holographic reflect and also the iridescent reflect. The next item I am pulling out are some rhinestones and this is just a different mix of different sizes. These ones are very, very pretty. I love that they kind of shine like gold, blue, purple, just depending on which way the light is hitting them. They just reflect a bunch of different colors. These are flat back and they also have a bunch of different sizes in here. We have a very large size and then also a very small size. 
The next item is a nail gel liner in platinum member. This one is a reflective polish. It is so beautiful. When you first like open it, you think it's just going to be silver, but then when you actually see it, it has like these very small glitter pieces that reflect from like pink, purple, blue, green, orange, red. It's just so beautiful. This color here also when you have it in low lighting and you have your phone flash on it, it will definitely give you a disco effect and also if you're out in the sun and the sun is hitting your nails, it will look absolutely beautiful. The next item is a regular gel polish and this one is a thermal gel named Bubble Pop. It's a very pretty like purplish indigo blue color and then once it is warm, it will turn into like a very pretty pinkish purple color. A very nice gel. I also really like that you technically have two gels in one. And the last item included are two all-in-one acrylic and dip powders. This first one here is Swipe Right and it is just a very beautiful blue. And the second one is actually a reflective acrylic powder and this one is called High Society and it is just a very pretty lavender lilac purple. Here are the swatches starting with the Platinum Member Gel Liner the Thermal Gel Polish Bubble Pop, the Purple Glitter Acrylic High Society, and then the Blue Acrylic, which is Swipe Right. The two powders can be used as acrylic with monomer, or you can also use them as dip powder with the dip liquids. I really love this color palette. I think these colors are so stunning. I also am so obsessed with the glitter in the gel liner and also in the acrylic powder. I did want to show the thermal color change with the gel, so here is how that one looks when it is warm, so whether or not you're taking a warm shower or washing your hands, um, you will be able to see the color change. It also is very nice because it kind of gives like an ombre effect if you have it on your natural nail bed and then the tip of your nail, the natural nail will usually stay warm and then the tip will stay the colder color. I think this one is very pretty. I also kind of like how it gives that aurora effect where how it's like warmer in the center. I just was very obsessed with that and these are the color swatches for my box. So now quickly before we jump into the nail set, I did want to go ahead and mention that if you are unfamiliar with the Your Nail Lab, they are a monthly subscription service and you can head over to the Your Nail Lab website and take the quiz and based off of your answers, they will put together a bunch of nail goodies and they will ship it right to your address and the best part is is that you get full size products valued at $60 to $100 for only $35 a month plus free shipping. I think these boxes are absolutely amazing. I 100% recommend them and it's also awesome that I curated this month's box. If you have not got your box yet, I will go ahead and leave the link in the description box below. That way you can head over there, take the nail quiz, and get this month's box. I also quickly want to mention that not everyone will be getting the exact same items. Like I said, everyone has to take the quiz and based on your answers, they will pick out the items that they think that you will love. Obviously, through the mix of items that I chose and wanted to be included in my box. So I just wanted to go ahead and mention that just so if you aren't receiving the same exact thing as I just showed, there isn't any questions on why that may be. But before we do go ahead and jump into the nail set, I did want to take a second to say thank you to everybody who has supported my nail journey. If it wasn't for all of your love and support, I wouldn't have this amazing opportunity. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart from day one to everyone who has supported me. I also just recently hit 10,000 subscribers. A huge giveaway will be coming soon, but again, just thank you all so very much. So now let's go ahead and move on to the nail set. I did go ahead and just size out my nail tips. I am using the ones that I showed in the unboxing, the XXL square full cover tips. I will also be using Swipe Right, which is the blue acrylic powder, and I am going to be combining a Gel X or Gel Extension set with an acrylic Femi 
Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl Method set. So we're just going to be combining those together because I saw a TikTok Gel X nail hack that I really, really wanted to try out using the um, snowflake sequence. So I did kind of want to incorporate that in today's video. So I am going to be first starting off with the acrylic just so I can get that out of the way. I personally don't really love to use acrylic. Um, I hate the smell of monomer, so I kind of just wanted to get this out of the way. Another reason why I am just doing the Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method because it is a lot quicker and easier. So I went ahead and took the nails that I were I was going to be using the acrylic on and place those on the nail stands. For these three nails, I did go ahead and size up one size and you will understand why in a couple seconds here. But as you can see, I am taking that acrylic and applying it to the entire nail bed or not the nail bed, the entire inside of the nail tip. And the reason for that is because basically I am just using this acrylic to give the nail tip some color. I wanted to go ahead and apply the acrylic to the nail tip. This is also a good way if you want to create some easy acrylic press-ons. You can just do this and making sure you size up from the size you would pick for your nail. So for example, if I'm usually a size 3 on my thumb, I would go ahead and bump to size 4. It is kind of a process when you're doing this because if you do bump up to that size 4, it may end up not working just depending how much of the acrylic powder you did end up needing to add. So you kind of just have to work with it and figure out what works best for you. But I am just taking that blue acrylic powder and applying it to the inside of the full cover nail tip. Very quick and easy process. You don't have to worry about building an apex, a structure, anything at all. You are just applying a very small amount of product to the inside of the nail tip. Another thing to keep in mind that a little bit goes a very long way. You're really just using the powder to add the color. You don't need to add in a ton of product to the inside of that full cover nail tip. So after I was finished with those acrylic nails, I did go ahead and clean my brush, the monomer, and then while I was doing that, the nails were dry, so I went ahead and took them off of the nail stands and just placed them with the other two nails. I did apply my peel-off base coat. If you do want your nails to last, make sure you do go in with a good prep routine, cleaning up your cuticle removing the shine from your natural nail bed surface, applying your primer, dehydrator, and then keeping it as that for the acrylic nails, but also for the Gel X nails, you will want to apply a base coat. I do have a couple videos up on my YouTube channel going further in depth with nail prep. So if you are having troubles with your nails popping off, lifting, or you are struggling with that process, you can go ahead and check out those videos on my channel. So for the acrylic nails, they are basically just press-ons. You are not able to glue them on using a gel product because the gel will not fully be able to cure. So for the blue acrylic nails, I will just be using a regular nail glue. And then for the gel extension nails, I will be using the McCart prep in one So for the blue acrylic nails, on those nails, I did apply two coats of my peel base. That way I was able to buff the surface of the nail. That way the glue will stick a lot better. And then I am just placing the glue on the inside of the nail and also a little bit on my natural nail bed. And then I am just gently pressing the nail down very quick 
very easy, just like you were applying some store-bought press-ons, but you were able to customize them and make them at home. So I'm not gonna lie, when I was doing these three acrylic nails, I did struggle quite a bit. I feel like this method is not absolutely beginner friendly just because it is a little bit difficult when you are sizing out your nail tips to know which size you should pick. If I'm usually a size three, if I should go up to a size um, two or if I should go up to a size one, it's kind of like trial and error. Like if you pick the correct size or if you don't pick the correct size, do keep in mind though, if you do try this, you do not want to pick your average or normal size and you do also not want to size down. It is always sizing up. That way you can leave room for the acrylic powder or the acrylic that is going to be going into the inside of the full cover nail tip. Another thing I want to mention is I did not remove the full cover nail tip. That nail tip just stayed on there. So now I'm going to be trying out that Gel X How to Encapsulate Chunky Glitter Nail Hack that I did see on TikTok. The person I saw the video from was Beauty by Aubrey Anna. I did try this before and I really liked how it turned out, but I wanted to give it another try just because I feel like the first time it worked really good, very easy, beginner friendly, but I just wanted to try it again and see if I could make it look better. So I will have her TikTok up on screen. She explained it so, so nicely. It was very easy to follow, but basically you want to start off by prepping your nail plate. Of course, for me, I just have on my peel off base coat. The next step is to apply your like prep in one or your builder gel, whatever you may be using. I'm using the McCart prep in one. I applied a layer of that to the nail and then I just went ahead and placed my raw glitters. For this, I'm just using a bunch of different like white iridescent glitters. I went ahead and just placed those where I wanted them to be on the nail. I did go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in the nail lamp and then I will be removing any glitter pieces that were not cured into the gel. I do quickly want to say that this cured fine. I didn't have any problems with the gel not curing. I then am taking more of that prep in one and I am applying that over top of the glitters because I want to add some of the larger snowflake sequins and I am just going to be placing two of these. You can overlap it just because you will be applying the nail tip so it will cover the nail sequin which I think is super cool about this nail hack. I would have never thought to do that. I did go ahead and cure that again for 30 seconds. Again, it was fully cured. I then made sure that the nail tip still fit my nail. You also do want to prep your nail tip if you are wanting the longevity of these nails. And then I am just taking that prep in one, applying some to the nail tip and also on top of those glitters and pressing it down just like I would a regular Gel X extension, holding it under the nail lamp and curing for a quick flash cure and then I went ahead and placed it into my larger lamp for a full 30 second cure. After the nail tip is cured on it is now time to fill the empty section with any glitters that you may want to add. So again I just took that prep in one and applied that to the nail tip on the underside and then I will be starting off this time with the snowflake sequins first, just that way they are in the front of the nail. And I am just placing one down and holding it in place, that way I can try to avoid any air bubbles as much as possible. And while I am holding it in place, I will go ahead and do a quick flash cure of that. Once I have these snowflakes placed, I will go ahead and apply another layer of that prep in one and apply any of the other glitter pieces that I want to add. And then I will go ahead and cure this flip side up like with my palm facing up like this in the larger nail lamp for a full 30 second cure. 
After that nail was cured, one of these snowflake sequins were hanging over top, so I just took some nippers and nipped that off of there. I also took a dust brush and just removed any of the glitters that were not cured into the gel. And then to seal all of those glitters in, I will just be using a top coat. You can use some clear acrylic, clear poly gel, anything that you want to use just to make sure all of those glitters are sealed in. After that top coat was cured, I'm now going to be doing some quick filing to all of the nails using my hand file, and then I will also be buffing the shine from the nail tips. I also do want to mention that my thumb will be the same like glitter encapsulated nail, but I did want to do that one as a Instagram reel, so that one I will just be doing off camera. If you do not follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Make sure you go ahead and go follow me. It is Nailed by Brandy and it is always in the description box of my YouTube videos, but I will go ahead and post that tutorial over there. After I was finished with my buffing and filing, I did go ahead and remove the nail dust. And at this time, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do next. So I did actually turn off some of my filming lights and that's why you can see the lighting change because when I went back to start filming again, I did forget to turn one of them on. So I do apologize that a little bit of this footage here will be slightly darker than the rest. It is still visible though, so it's fine, but I did just want to mention that. So I decided that I wanted to do a bling nail. So for the middle finger, I went ahead and applied the McCart Glossy Top Coat. I cured that for 30 seconds and then I'm using the McCart Rhinestone Glue to glue on some rhinestones and also some charms. After placing some of the rhinestones and charms, I did go ahead and do a flash cure for those just so they wouldn't move around while I was placing the other ones. I'm going to go ahead and let this play out. I really hope that you guys are enjoying. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, and also if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. Here is that nail after it has been fully cured. I really liked the outcome. I am now going to be adding some white snowflake stickers to my pinky. Again, I wasn't really sure with where I was going with this set. I was kind of just working as I went and trying to th think and come up with things as I was flowing with the set. So just to give it a little bit more winter vibes, I'm going to be taking these white snowflake stickers and placing them going down on my pinky nail. I will also be using some of the white gel liner from the poly gel box that I unboxed first for my collab box. And I'll be using this. I just put some out on my palette and I'm using my dotting tool just to create like some dots around the snowflakes to give it like a winter wonderland like the snow is falling. I went ahead and cured that and then I am taking a blue reflective gel polish from McCart. I believe the name for this one is Raspberry Sour. It is the perfect blue. I love this color so much and I decided just to put one coat of this on the index finger to give it a little bit of glitter. I went ahead and cured that and now I'm going to be topping all of the nails off with some of the McCart Glossy Top Coat and curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After the top coat was cured, I did decide I wanted to add some cuticle rhinestones on the glittered nail. 
So I used some of that McCart rhinestone glue around the cuticle and placed my rhinestones. I then went ahead and cured that. And now I'm going to be adding on a little fluff. At first I wanted to do this white heart, but then I did end up changing it to a blue fluff ball instead, which you will see that in a couple of seconds here. But I did glue down that magnet with some of the McCart rhinestone glue. Here are how the nails are looking. I also did my thumb off camera. I really love how this set pulled together. Knowing that I did not know what I was going to do when I first started this nail set really blows my mind with how I was able to come up with this and have it turn out so good. But I am now just going to be applying my cuticle oil, rubbing that in to nourish my cuticles, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And then I will be adding on my little fluff. Super cute. Pulls the whole set together. Here are the nails. I really, really love this set. I also think that it's amazing that you can't even tell that for the ring finger and the thumb they're gel extensions and then for the other three nails they're acrylic nails I think that's so cool how you can combine things together in your set and really just mix and match whether you're doing poly gel acrylic gel extensions really I just think it's so fun that you can kind of combine and just try out different things all in one nail set so I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video Again, you can purchase this munch box, which is a collaboration with me. I want to give a big thank you again to all of you guys because it wouldn't be possible without you. And also a big thank you from a cart for this amazing opportunity. If you do want to get a box, I will go ahead and leave the link to the Your Nail Lab website down below in the description box. You do not have to get a box. I am not forcing you, but it would really mean a lot to me. If you do not end up getting a box, that is totally okay. You are still supporting me, even if you're just watching, liking, subscribing, following me on Instagram, any of those things I still really appreciate and it really means the world to me. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.